Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Live in the kitchen. We're live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV is live, live, live. We are cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning, we're cooking in the evening, and cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Yeah, the belly TV is cooking up something for eat. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Good evening. And as you can see by the title, today we're doing a quick and easy recipe. All right. I am currently sharing the page on my Facebook and, you know, want you guys to do the same thing. Come join me in the kitchen for a quick and easy dinner idea. And then you go click on the link to join me. A-S-A-P, post. All righty then, good evening, good evening, good evening. Official Jamia, good evening to you. And good evening to Ashley, good evening to you. Donna Lee Duncan, big up your status. Member Montalio, big up yourself from Maryland. Oh, I miss um, OBCZ. That's from you singing this song. <laughs> Even though that's not the words. <laughs> oh, you mean, um, where you go, where you go? My, my, my. <laughs> Jesus is mine. <laughs> mine when I'm weary and mine when I'm dreary. <laughs> Good evening from Maryland. Maryland's in the house. Um, Baltimore, yeah. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. Let me hold on there, guys. Let me clean my camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. All righty then. Oh, I feel so, I feel so crisp right now. So crisp and so clean. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Remember to share our channel or page on your local um, social media. And we are about to get into the meat of the matter. We do not have an, a whole lot of time because we started so late. And guys, would you believe that we, are, we had all intentions to start at 6, promptly at 6. As a matter of fact, I posted on Instagram that we would have started at 6. And, and I don't know what happened. I honestly don't know what happened. We just... I can't. I just can't. I just cannot. All right, so that's, that is that. Let me, so currently we are making, as you see in the title, today we are making some ackee and sawfish, but we're gonna have it as a flatbread and of course, with the addition of cheese and stuff like that, we're gonna turn it into pizza. So um, off camera, I am currently breaking up the sawfish that we boiled. I will soon show you, you know, trying to, um right and whistle the selfish act and it will burn me show them the selfish i think ow you don't like work with act, act selfish you know it's very burning and it's, it's real selfish this time it's not the one where look like snake so I'll soon show you, I'm just running the, the, the fish over the water right now and trying to clean up some of my, um, the, 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 the um, scales and all of that off it, you know, make it look presentable. 
and this is the saltfish that have bones in it guys so yeah you have to be careful if you're gonna put it on a flatbread all right so let me go through a little bit of a deboning process have you ever ever has anybody on my life ever had saltfish ackee and saltfish pizza and or flatbread have anybody ever tried it or have it i hear it's the rave i mean i, I heard it was good so today we're gonna try it for the first time we're not gonna ashley says no claire good evening claire good evening to you we are doing some pizza something or something I was gonna text Fatah Diamond and tell him that when I do pizza and a clear. <laughs> just to burn him. Just to make him head hurt him. <laughs> All right, so. so you want to you want to um boil your saltfish? We have, we boiled our saltfish. Um I'm gonna turn the camera on it in, in just a sec, guys. Give me a sec. Let me clean my hands. And then I'm gonna turn the camera down. Tanya Johnson, good evening to you, Tanya Johnson. How are you, girl? All right, so what I have here is my saltfish. And let me just show you guys. So this is the piece of saltfish that I boiled. And I'm just cleaning it up. You know, if you're making Akian saltfish, you really want to clean up your space. Yeah. Don't watch me sink. Please don't look in my sink. Please don't look in my sink. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for not looking in my sink right now. Because my sink um, have the colander with the selfish remnants. And you come over here, you clean off all the silver skins. And then sort there. And this, guys, um, I, for this particular dish, I will have to make classic Jamaican Aki and selfish. And so, you know, you're getting... You're getting um, two for the price of one you're getting a, a classic jamaican aki and saltfish recipe and a long time in a pick saltfish like this you know because them have the snake one the snake one i sell you don't really the boneless one then may call it snake because you know the wife is um indisposed at the moment she's so come because you know as usual you have to start the program all right, so now you want to just make sure you go through and run your, your finger and make sure you clean up all the bones. I've had it on flatbread. Donnelly Duncan, you've had it on flatbread. That's exactly what we're going to do with it today. We're going to utilize the flatbread that we have had because sometimes, you know, I've been trying to... Guys, you know how long I try to lose weight? Every day is a, a, a lose-lose battle every day so sometimes my head take me and me say me no want no rice and me no want no this and me no want no that and all right so me i go healthy today i try to go healthier let's use that term healthier today so we are gonna use our aki and saltfish with um in this fashion and i think it just makes for you know sometimes you have to make your your, your dinner be a little bit eccentric. I don't reinvent the wheel, guys. So I am not gonna make a flatbread from scratch. I instead I'm gonna buy um, a flatbread, uh, and um, all the supermarkets um, have very good flatbread. <laughs> clear, clear, say. <laughs> He takes Fata Diamond and tell him to so make this to make it burn him. Mm, you want Fata Diamond to talk about it on the show. You know him to talk about it on the show, clear. <laughs> uh, uh, for those who don't know, I'm on the radio at the Caribbean Radio. Um, and you can you can look it up at Caribbean Radio uh, Show.com, Caribbean Radio Show.com, or Brother Gary Radio Show.com, or the Caribbean Radio.com. Or brothergaryradioshow.com. I will soon put the the link as the, the live progresses. I am so tired. My back is hurting. I was all about the place today. The sun was hot. 
I tried to cut the grass outside and it was just a lot. I did a lot though. I think I think I did a good job with the grass, cutting the grass today. And there we have it. Let me clean up my space a little bit. Clean up my calendar. And then we're gonna get into the meat of the matter. So so when last have you guys had Aki? And, and have you had Aki from the tree or, or the can one? Because I we never I never used to use the can one until recently. I started using the can one and, and I said to myself, you know what, it's not overly bad, you know. Um, we used to say, no, we not use the can one because, you know, I'll spoil Aki, I unwrap Aki, I this, I that, I ray. Guess what? When trouble take you, pick me shot, fit you. Prayer kid, big up yourself, big up your status. Big up your status, prayer kid. All right, let me give you a, a, a little rundown of what... Uh, my ingredients are today. Sorry about the movements of my camera. Yeah, you know I got ready. When you're doing a live and you don't have the technical team working with you, all right? So I have Aki. I, I put some chives in there for the, 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 the thumbnail picture. All right, I have Aki. Saltfish over here. Onion. I have a tomato. Anybody put tomato in there, Aki? And I'm wondering if I should put tomato in this one because of the fact that we are doing, we're going to be doing it um, for the flatbread. I have some, I have a, a mixture of cheeses because I had my good, good up, good up Mexican cheese for make me, my pizza, my flatbread. And and somebody, me not nah call no name, but him lick a bit and him, him, him name rhyme with, with um, mashta. Mashawa, somebody eat out the cheese. So I had to run and quickly ask the wifey to to grate some some cheese, some black cheese that I had there. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is just start my aki program. My aki program. Give me a sec, guys. I'm coming. Soon come to you all. Soon come to you. Soon come to you. Ah, oh, with my Aki. All right. That's right there. I'm gonna use a little bit of coconut oil um, for the purpose of you know this this program today i'm gonna use some coconut oil and this coconut oil is dr Branner. i got this at publix and guys don't sleep on publix because ever so often publix will have oils and stuff on special where you buy one get one free and this was one of those um deals and i got two for 13 dollars two of these um how much ounce one for 13 dollars all right so let me see something there. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna spoon in some coconut oil in this in this pot. I'm doing three, four tablespoons. You want it to be relatively dry. You don't want it to be too. Um, you don't want it to be too wet. All right because of the fact that it's going to be um it's going to be on a pizza if it is too wet and too gravy you know too gravy um full of gravy it's gonna it's gonna give you trouble all right all right so my coconut oil is there so one little piece of fritters that we made it out you know they let me in there because uh, i added a little bit of my garlic infused oil all right guys normally i don't cut my my stuff like this but uh i'm in a press for time so please bear with me and when we're in jamaica we used to cut with something so i would never have a problem so uh, come for me please yeah you say oh don't cut like that you're cutting your hands yes i know i'm i'm, I'm trying my best and 
I, I'm sort of like knowing what I'm doing here. So bear with me, guys. Don't try this at home, children. All right. I have four cloves of garlic that I'm going to add. Four cloves of garlic. And I, I've deliberately put the heat on low so that it won't burn by the time I cut my um, onions. Uh, DR Tegan, big up yourself, Taff. DR Tegan, big up yourself. All right. So. Now I have my onion here, and again, guys, do not follow my cutting technique. I'm just doing it um, um, haphazardly because I am a little bit pressed for time and um, to operate both camera and cook at the same time, it's a little bit tedious. So work with me today, all right? So I have garlic and I have half of a onion in the pot. And here is my lovely wifey who has come to be my assistant for the evening. She is beautifully decked out in a Yardabelli t-shirt as you saw on the thumbnail and she looks ever so cute ever so cute good afternoon to you madam how are you i'm good good evening guys <clears throat> and you smell that coconut oil it smells good uh -huh. Of course, you know, guys, I'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper to this one because I am, I love scotch bonnet pepper when you when infuse it with coconut oil. You know, when, when, when coconut oil and scotch bonnet pepper come together, it just creates a, a, a feeling like your home. Hmm? Country. Yeah. Like when mommy are cooking, you just smell it up, you know? Trust me. Ooh, more? Mm-hmm. One thing. You have hiccups? Mm-hmm. But see, you know, um, you can take out this hand for the, for the, the thing. What we're going to use the, to bake the pizza on. Okay. And guys, my stove is not that clean. My saltfish boil over onto my stove and mess up my stove a little bit but when you don't come for me please don't come for me like yeah it's my new thing hey, hey listen the internet the internet is very very rough you know you understand i know my yardies are good people they never come for me too tough but i have to prepare myself have you seen how they do them do people find the the, the, the the pages them them beat them up bad 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 man beat them up bad look at that nice and the the the, the froth that you see in the pot guys is directly the coconut oil burning off okay so don't don't worry about it it's not something that is bad it's just the coconut oil when you're using the extra virgin coconut oil that's how it burn off so yeah, you just put in your stuff and by the time it starts to get a little bit toasty and nutty, you add in your salt fish. And I did not win the debate with the, the tomato. Anybody wants tomato in, in it? You think tomato should be in it? Who put tomato in their salt, in their Akean salt fish? Let me know. All right, all the folks who put tomatoes in their Akean salt fish, please let me know. All right, is this, is this a, I think I, I, oh no, it's not a bone.
awesome sauce beautiful this, sorry for the noise guys we're preparing the baking tray awesome oh that look that look good Uh, because this is saltfish, we don't normally use salt, but I do use a little bit of Old Bay. We don't normally use salt, but I do use a little bit of Old Bay. And also, I have, let me see, some garlic powder. And Tanya said she used tomato. Tanya said she used tomato? Okay, I'm going to use tomato because my friend Tanya said she used tomato. I'm using a little bit of cayenne for that kick. And if you notice, guys, I'm seasoning the salt fish uh, because when the ackee comes, I pretty much am just going to fold it in and sprinkle some black pepper on top of that. All right? So let me start on the... Oh, oh baby, start on the tomato. All right, so you want your saltfish to start to really start to cook. And like how oh, this is gonna be on a pizza, I'm gonna also add some more onions, and I'm using Vidalia onions. I'm gonna add a little bit more onion for that crunch, because you don't want to just be ackee and saltfish, just sauce us up on the pizza, you understand? Don't be able to. Could I use the, 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 the onion, like sprinkle onion on it extra? That nice, on the plat bread itself. What do you think? When it's been before, oh, before like when I'm as a topping. Mm How -hmm. oh, this look, guys? It look it look kosher, look copacetic, it look fine. And guys, guess what? One ingredient that we don't have. We don't have no scallions. Joey Obert, thank you so much for your tier one membership. Thank you, Joey. We appreciate you guys. You can join our page for additional perks. Our perks have not yet kicked in, but we are going to be working on them very, very soon. Thank you so much, Joey. And guys, if you if you omit the saltfish totally, then you would definitely, you know, be doing something like plant-based, fully plant-based or vegan. Men not, me, me not like the vegan, no more for the vegan, not true. Then be me so bad. Fish is not vegan. How would I look feel this? Look good? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Can you put time in there? No, I know. For the time. Turn on the fire a little bit. Please and thanks. A key now the voice. Get fit and done. Checking in from Spain. May I tell may I tell um prayer kid, say you, you did there, Spain. Alright guys, so I'm just squeeze um squeezing off the, the, the time. Because again, you don't want the branches in the in the flatbread, in the pizza. So I'm just taking out the leaves. All right, that's a little bit of time. Don't be too much. Mm -hmm. Are we running out of time? Trying that's funny. Fun. I'm trying, babes. You can't help me with the funniness, you know. You can't help with the funny. I know I know I get on your nerves sometimes with it. But the Lord gave you this man. You understand? And so you have to just work with him. Jesus gave you this man because he knew that you were strong. He said, He said, one true natural 
I know you are strong. You can handle it. Be strong. Hallelujah. Because this man is a handful. You understand? So just work with it. Look at my. No, baby. You can't really, you know, because it depends on the pizza. You don't want somebody to bite it. All right, what else can we put now? The black pepper. And this is pretty much a, it's pretty much just a, almost like a warm up thing that you're gonna do with this pizza. Um, because you really don't, you really, you really have done most of your cooking already. You know, the flatbread is just gonna be warmed through. And as you see, I have not put a ton of grease on, on, on it. You know, um, as the wife would normally say, a ton. We don't use a lot of oil on this because we want it to be nice and just fit perfectly on to the flatbread. All right, it look good. Oh, right, look, we need more more um, chives. I'm gonna put more chives. You know, making trouble for But anyway, it's a prayer in a war. <laughs> and chives are a good um, uh, substitute for scallions because they do have that little garlicky type of uh, scallion -y type of taste. And so it's a really good substitute. So if you have chives, and you don't have scallions or green onions then you're still good to go somewhere and they blend perfectly into your, your dish make your dish look cute same way yeah how that look guys Yeah. Mm. All right. So that is my aki right there, guys. And I do hope that you you can use this recipe. All you need now is some fried dumpling now, and you're good to go, you know. Change my mind. I don't want it with no pizza. What do you want it with? White rice. All right, well, let's go. It's all about you, whatever you want. I'm I'm swear. I swear. But I'm joking, though. Yeah, but I'm in a business. With my wife, if you want to try rice, want it with rice, I'm right, shut it with it. Let me move the camera. Let me move the camera, darling. Let me move the camera, darling. Oh, do we grease this pan? We don't need to, but we can spray it with the, the spray? olive oil spray. Where is the olive oil spray? Where the? It's right there. Second shelf. Alright. Alright, so we have our baking tin here. And we have some palm olive oil spray. And our flat bread. And these are just flat breads that we bought. You want another tray? Um no sir. We could fight it. No. Yeah man. Yeah, sure. Yeah man. So these are some some flat bread that we buy at Aldi. Yeah? 
and we just have to work with it. Okay. You're good? Mm, but we just don't want the axe slide off. You can have the slide, wait till the slide go. Stop tapping me. Move out of the way. Alright, so now let me move this down. Shift this down. You want to put the camera down? Because you're gonna put the cheese on, right? Do we put sauce first? <laughs> With Aki? Hmm. I, I mean I could use we could use ranch. We could use some ranch sauce. Just to accommodate the cheese. Well, tomato sauce, huh? But tomato sauce no really ever make it. No 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 more about the tomato sauce, funny. Mm. Ask the ask your, your viewers. Guys, which sauce you think would work well with the Aki pizza? Tomato sauce or what? Ranch sauce? Mm -hmm. Or ranch dressing? Um, all right, so I'm going to start with some Tanya said tomato. So we don't want you want us to do one with each with tomato, one with ranch. Okay. I'm gonna start with some ranch um, dressing, and this is just regular ranch salad dressing. I I, I don't mind the ranch. I think it's really cool. Um, me like ranch. My wife don't. Me and Joshua like ranch more than you know anything else. The wife really doesn't. So we just gotta start with the ranch. Hi Joshua. Hello, good afternoon everybody. Or good morning, wherever you are. Keen, I'll, I'll, I'll make trouble finding something, Josh. No out. tomato sauce. Really? What is this? Like a pizza thing? Yeah. So this is the pizza sauce that I found. Margarita pizza sauce. A good quality pizza sauce. Just putting that on there like such. Okay, can I get pepperoni on mine? <laughs> Who are you asking me? Yeah. Yes. You don't want it? You know what? We can put pepperoni too. Just pizza without pepperoni. A lot of people. The actually has half is tastes good. Here we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Babes? Yeah, there we go. Put your pepperoni and we can eat the Aki separate. So, so hold on. I'm what? supposed to put the ranch like how you put the ranch like that? Yes. So why you never tell me? I thought you were just not done. Mm, wow. Wait, wait, look at this. Look how long she there, guys, and watch her. Look how me just bad up the thing. Come bother with it. Come up. If you don't want to be fancy, I'm going to use my brush. My thing better. Okay. My, watch it. My, my sauce on already. I just that the more things in you, the more I have to wash. I can't bother. I have to wash it. Look on that, guys. Look how my sauce, my thing ready already. Guys, no, let me... Ashley, Ashley says ranch. The Ashley, Ashley is team Yardy Belly. Ha! Ashley, you're my team. Hey, Ashley, you're my team. Oh, yeah. Ashley, you're my team. She, you're my team. You're my team. Uh, you said, I'll mix them all together. <laughs> oh, no, Ashley. This is bacon ranch right here, Ashley. All right, babes, you want to do the cheese? This cheese always sucks up in there. Where's the other cheese? 
It's clumpy. Mm -hmm. That's because we just grated that cheese. Grate, yes. If it, if it's the chemical cheese, the, them chemical cheese, yeah, them don't them don't stick together. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this on mine. And and guys, you don't want to inundate the food with cheese because Aki and selfish. Tanya, you hear the word? Eh? Yeah, yeah, the big word, Tanya. Inundate. You don't want to fool it. You don't want to cripple it with cheese oh lord i think i think i'm gonna stick to my this cheese over here eh, eh, ashley i think we should just stick to this cheese and don't mix the cheeses right and just make two separate um um two two separate tasting you know pizza pizza i think you you're gonna need to put the 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 the, the, the um pepperoni on yours because you, yours is gonna need help Mm. Mine's is good. I'm learning the help. Mm -hmm. Josh, which one you like so far? Which one look like it it is planning to work? Joshua over there eat out the something them for him help the work. I think I like mine. Kino. Kino, which one you say? Which one you say? Ranch, don't Kino? I think Kino say ranch too. All the people them we have sense. Say ranch. Tanya and my wife say tomato. I like this one. Which one you like? Black. Oh yes. <laughs> you have sense. What Tanya. Do you like the rest of this? Chef with us. Let me tell you what you can do with it. Make make pizza sandwich. Pizza sandwich. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I'm gonna add my onions. Mito. You don't need onions on yours. Onions you just you're just jealous. It's two versus two, or one versus one. Mm -hmm. And she turned it into that when she decided that she wanted one versus one, but I already won. When she decided that she wanted um, what is something name? When mm -hmm. she said she want tomato sauce, but or something here. Who doesn't want that? Hmm. Put some bacon bits on one and fold them together. <laughs> <laughs> Gone too far now, man. Bacon bits. No, no I'm just helping you. You don't have none in the middle right there. Do the cutting board, darling. All right, one next. Okay. And, and what's, what's that thing called? Pepperoni. Josh wants pepperoni on, on this one. Not on the top it though? No. I, you I, I, it, Aki? I think so. Can I get the spoon, babes? You're putting in the object, right? Yeah. So now, guys. We're gonna spoon on the aki, and you want to you want to space it out. You don't want it to be clumped up, you know. The aki had to go nice with some white rice in the babes. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. How we look, babes? You look like I'm doing you justice. Let me know, you know. Let me know, cause I don't want you to say. Me make yours, me make my one nicer than yours and all these things. That's one important. It's up a slice. Oh, we look, guys. <laughs> Actually, the onions oh, don't. The, on, the onions are are Vidalia onions, okay? No add onions, please. So it's really crunchy and it doesn't have a strong oniony. Flavor. It's, it won't. It won't kill you with onion. So actually, you're saying you want the onion, or you don't want. She onion? said no. No added onion. Oh. Oh, look, and guys, this is how you have to take your dinner and make your dinner look. You know, versatile and nice and loving. But all mine's are scanty. I don't understand. Oh, you mean scanty? Me know you never say that. You know, me know you never say you're in scanty. Because that, 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 right, that leave, wait, wait, 
Here you leave it for eat with rice. What can I be of this? All right, Joshua wants this on his thingy. Tanya said, word of the day, inundate for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, thank you. <laughs> we need some more big words. <laughs> We need a plethora of big words right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna so, just put a little bit more. All the non-pork eaters, this one is not yours. This one is not for you. I don't have no more cheese. Oh, man, put more cheese. Cheese on the top too. How did you ever see pizza? I don't know. No, the pizza yet. How oh, this look, guys? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What is that? Diamond Baby? <laughs> Diamond Baby, this is Aki and Sawfish Flatbread Pizza. Mm -hmm. Our own homemade. We're trying to make dinner a little bit. On the funny side, the look a nice side. Pickles. No, you're weird. No, you don't put that until end, the ending. It's oh. gonna burn. Okay. So right now we're adding cheese. Josh says it needs more cheese. Official Jamia says it looks good. She's talking about mine though. This one, the white one is mine. <laughs> the other one, you know, I'm not even sure. You want more cheese on yours? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think you should. I think you should, baby. It's gonna just make the ackee disappear. If the cheese is gonna melt, that's what's gonna happen. Do you think the cheese are gonna stand up up there? Like a, like a, a, a soldier? Oh, yes, believers. It looks really nice. Look at that, guys. You got to show me this up. Can you get some pictures for me? Like, of this before it goes in the oven? You like on top farinish? <laughs> Can you get some pictures for me of this before it goes in the oven? <laughs> Can you, please? <laughs> your camera is dirty, though. Look at my nose. I mean, your camera is just terrible. You need to clean. I'm giving you full American style today. Wrong with my camera. It's just looking better now. Oh, Baba. This Baba. one's better than yours. Nope. I want somebody to cook with. Diamond Baby. <laughs> I would throw corn on there. Whoa, oh, Diamond Baby, you taking it way over now. <laughs> hmm? Need some jalapeno and pineapple and both. Um, guys, we're not pressure we know. We're not pressure we. You know, we do so Akiya right, salad. You know, we think about the pineapple, but I'm like, ah, oh, that's really pushing it to put Akiya yeah. and pineapple. Mm -hmm. Same deal. Mm -hmm. That is all outside of the box. No, man. We're not pressure we know, man. We're not and the, and the box hard. crush up. We're not clean with bar with the pineapple. We are looking at the fridge with something else to add for the Akiya. I'm here. I'm here. Put it Nothing in the oven because it has to start cooking now. All right, let's go. There is All right, close. babes, you, you, you try the camera. We're so All right, so now we're just going to pop it in our oven. Pop it in the oven, man. Ooh, uh -uh. Why does this tray look like it upside down? All right, okay. and now we're going to eat the rest of Aki over here with rice. A joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babes, go talk about your, your, your stuff until the dinner is ready. All right, guys, so, hi. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk to you real quick about my one day detox. And this is from a company called Green Valley One Day Detox. And what it does is that it cleans you out. 100% cleans you out. I mean, um, if you want to re like a reboot, if you want to start your healthcare journey, if you want to start your weight loss journey, if you have a take, um, if you have a take surgery for your belly, <laughs> right? See, if you're gonna do surgery for your belly, no. If you're gonna do surgery, you need to clean out. No. It can't clean out. 
You cannot tell people to do anything if they're oh, gonna take surgery. No, if you're gonna do surgery, make the doctor tell you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't take this. Go to your doctor. But <laughs> <laughs> so I personally been using this once a month and it does work. Get all that gunk outside of you. By right, when you go to the bathroom, you're supposed to see what you ate for the most part. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be with some terrible black thing and some whole thing. Kina, Kina, leave me alone. I'm a table of rice. <laughs> you're not supposed to see some more of a Send black the stuff. Rice, um, ship it. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to see what you eat. This one day detox can help you to cleanse 100%. Clean out. Guys, link me. I'll make sure so you get it. The number is right here in the chat that you can text me to, um, let, me, let me type it for your one day detox. So text me and we will ship this to you. And of course, all those who text me um, in, within the next 10, well, the next 24 hours is free shipping. All right? We, we can't do no better. You can also buy it on the website, obviously. But buying it from me is supporting me, supporting the channel. And I'm an official distributor for this company. All right? So you can purchase through me and um, you can get it. Guys, one day detox. We also have... A new product. This is the blood purifier. All right. Now the one day detox is pure herbs. All right. Um, let me tell you what it is. Water, moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, sour sap leaf, guinea hen weed, jack in the bush, uh, inflammation weed, leaf of life, aloe vera, tuna, which is prickly pear, parsley, um, um, garlic, vervain, and all of that. This is the new kid on the block. The blood purifier. All right, and a bigger bottle, more volume, and this you take like a tonic. This is not a this don't wash you out and all of that. What this does is fix you, fix your blood, fix your yes, you know d d d um r t d r t gun um please just text me the number the number right there. I will talk about it. Um, you know you know. Policies, Mickey, I really talk prices on the, on the, the chat room. Um, Marilyn L, I'm sorry, no. We have to work out the, the free shipping, the Canada shipping. We have to work it out, not free shipping to Canada. I'm so sorry, but I've been sending to Canada. So, yeah, it works. Blood purifier. And my wife been taking this. You want to talk about the blood purifier? Because you've been taking it and it's been so helpful. Look at your blood look pure. Look at it. You just look pure. Pure blood. I just take it as a um, daily pure supplement. Blood as because it's supposed now. to give you immu daily immune system. Where are you giving from Father's Day? One of that. So you're trying to say, I have bad blood? You can't. Your bad blood cannot be too good. Guys, look what you're giving me from Father's Day. I'm hurt. I'm just going to walk away right now. I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> Yeah, talking about it. Talk to the people. Guys, this purifier, blood purifier right here is actually something that you take daily. Of course, the, the one day detox. This is a one shot um, detox. So you take everything one go, the whole eight ounce and it works how it's supposed to work. This, on the other hand, is a daily supplement. And this daily supplement you take like four ounces, you know, in the morning with, with your meal, and you are totally good to go. It is supposed to boost the immune system, and it also has only pure ingredients: your aloe vera, your prickly pear, your leaf of life, moringa. It has garlic and it has peppermint. So the peppermint helps to offset the taste of the other all-natural ingredients. So it doesn't taste awful at all. It doesn't taste too, you too mean bad. It don't taste awful like the detox. You know, eh? It don't taste awful like the detox. The detox don't taste awful to me. It tastes like medicine. That's then medicine, like. medicine don't really taste awful. Yeah, it tastes like awful medicine. All right. So this helps with a number of things, guys. I'm trying to show you. It helps with acid reflux 
mucus on the chest, cholesterol, diabetes, heartburn, asthma, hot flashes, erectile dysfunction, Hold on, my name and back up. blockage, rebuilds ligaments and cartilage. So, and guys, if we go back to the roots, if we go back to the herbs, to nature, usually if we, you know, try to ingest those natural stuff, chances are off, off half of these um, issues that we go through, the diabetes and the high cholesterol, you know, it would kind of eliminate it, you know? So, yeah, this is something that you want to take daily. Blood, puree, fire. I think the ladies need to buy for their, their, their spouse, for their husband. Mm -hmm. For Father's Day, they need to give them husband it. You know? So. Especially if they want him to be more of a father. <laughs> like, you know, have more, more fatherly children. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. All right, guys. So there we have it for um, our Green Valley products. Again, 305-204-1270. If you would like to order us, text the number and let us know where you are. And um, we will sort you out. Bam, boom, bam. All right. So on to our own product line, which is One True Natural is our and, product um, line. Somebody said they texted... Um, D. Artigan Top mm -hmm. said that he texted the number, so we, we're gonna check oh, your no, number. Oh, no, um, Oh, they said that they checked the, the text the number, mm -hmm. so we're gonna check it out right after we come off our live and get back to you a slap. Mm. But in the meantime, <laughs> we didn't get the text yet. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm showing you guys these these um natural handcrafted bar soaps yes because they are the newest addition to our product line um we have a number of scents or fragrance or whatever you call it we have activated charcoal and turmeric combination yes this one is amazing for the face it detoxifies the skin and turmeric is known <laughs> To you know, aiding getting rid of blemishes and stuff and stuff like. Prayer so. keep making trouble on the live scene. Mm. Yeah, but but um, Kina need a case of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you put the right number? Because still didn't see a text yet. Do right. you take PayPal? Yes, we do take PayPal. <laughs> PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, you name it. We accept it. All right, so we have that again charcoal and turmeric combination. We have eucalyptus mint, yes, if you want that relaxing um, feeling. We have turmeric and sea moss. I think the men would like this one because I think there's something about sea moss that gets men excited. So this turmeric sea moss. Because mm. if the sea moss strong, you see me, the sea moss good for the, for the body. You understand? Yeah, That's why we like sea mask because it, it makes us feel strength up. And this is what I love about the soaps. They're imperfect. They're not cut and measured in a in a factory. They're handcrafted. Alright, and then our last but not least, we have our lemongrass soap bar. And guys, you won't ever hear me stop saying it because our son Joshua designed all of the labels for these soaps. Yes. He did. He sure did. Mm -hmm. And you can get Joshua to design here. Yes, too. he's been free ever since he graduated a week ago. Well, even before he graduated, he has been um, freelancing, you know, getting, you know, different jobs for people to design their business cards, their logos. Get fit and, and done. You need him labels. to design your, your business card here. Get fit and done. Mm -hmm. So, guys. Text the same number and we can okay up with all Joshua can start you out. Anyway, so we have three products. Otherwise, these are products in our hair care line. First of all, let me introduce you to our pure Jamaican black castor oil. Castor oil is amazing for hair growth and for hair thickness. But what makes our special is that it's a hundred percent natural, it is salt free, it's organic, it's hexane free. It is straight from the farm in St. Mary, Jamaica. So you don't want your Jamaican black castor oil coming from anywhere but Jamaica, right? 
Right. And it's even better if it's not manufactured or produced in a factory. It is extracted, grown, and sourced directly from the farmer, the local farmer. So you know it's the real deal. We now started to um, safety seal our things. And I was going to show you guys how thick it is, but um, it has that safety seal on there. All right, and our shine of mine is our premier product, the very first product that we, you know, put out, our first formulation, this amazing blend of oil that is amazing for the scalp, not only the scalp, but for the hair, and for helping to keep your hair moisturized longer, for getting rid of dry, flaky scalp. It is amazing also on the skin because of its all natural organic ingredients. Guys, it's amazing for hot oil treatments, scalp massages, you name it. Shine of mine will do it. Bam. And then last, but by no means least, we have our castor oil mascara. Mm -hmm. Who would have thunk? Yes. What is that? No, 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 would be tweaked and modified um, in such a way that it would address the hair on the, the brows and the lashes. Because for us females, sometimes we have issues where our, where our brows were thin at one point because we made them that way because they were on trend. But now, thicker brows. It's not in the, the, the thingy. The long one I'm talking it's over there behind you oh yeah guys my apologies yeah this so, is a real kitchen guys with real people so we have to so, ask questions in here sorry i'm sorry baby so yeah for whatever reason you want your brows to be thicker sometimes we lose the lashes each of them will fall out every time we try to put on those um the falsies. The falsies. Mm -hmm. So this will definitely help you guys to um, restore that. And of course, guys, you can follow us on Instagram at One True Natural. You can pause, go ahead, and follow us right now. Mm -hmm. One True Natural on Instagram and Facebook. Also, if you would like to purchase, you can visit our website at www etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural it will be in the chat right now again www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one omg guys look here i have to show oh i change wanted to show you that picture we must stop frightening me <laughs> I was gonna show you a picture with Joshua and his dad when Hello. yes it's back look at this it's picture gonna, you it's guys change after. look at this little boy face when it was about three or four crazy guys yes so order yeah it, this can be used for men believe it or not our men need um to have you know soft moisturized healthy looking here also so don't 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 eliminate the men and men don't neglect yourselves because you all need to take care even if you wear a bald head a nice glow to the to the the, the, glow to the, the head. <laughs> nice glow <laughs> to the i was gonna say to the dome <laughs> glow to your shiny a nice glow to your bald head would make it, shiny. Shiny. <laughs> it would just look nice if you had a little shine on your head top if you wear your head bald that's my bottom line all right that's the point all right so go purchase something try something buy something 
And you would like something. something. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the thing set. All right. So where the where the <coughs> can take it out now? I'm gonna launch check now. Now, guys, he's checking if the pizzas are Wait, ready. Check in if the pizzas are ready. Guys, that pineapple over there. Let me zoom in and show you. Bam! You see this pineapple, guys? This pineapple was nurtured by me. <laughs> yeah, guys, remember the other day, maybe at two months or so, our neighbors. Three months? No. It's See, it's way long. longer than that. It's it just way don't. Longer. Oh, four months? Yeah. Oh, a couple months, a few months ago, our neighbor unfortunately had a house fire and their um home has been abandoned ever since. But they have a whole host of pineapple trees in the yard. And, you know, she told us that we should nurture it for her, make sure we water it for her. And then when she comes, to pick them, a pick a pick pineapple? Reap. To reap them. <laughs> when she comes to reap the pineapple, then she would make sure that we taste it. So this is the first one. Thank you to our neighbor. Yes, you know yourself. Mm-hmm. And she gave us two and then we gave somebody one. But I, I, I kind of thought it looked young, but I don't know. Don't worry about it. Is it because it's organic? All right, so do we need it to brown up and to burn yes, up like that? Yes, put it on thing there a little bit. Put it on broil for a second. Yeah, but we already feet, you know. We don't want to burn, no, you know. It's one show the people then. Yeah, show them. Yeah, I think it needs to go on broil because right now it does look like... Pizza. It looks like Ake Loaf. We just stop. <laughs> oh, we look, guys. Oh, we look. Oh, we look. Oh well, oh well, oh well. I'm gonna switch the, the, the tray up a little bit. Make it lower. Oh, okay, so you're not gonna put it on broil? Or if you put, I don't know how to operate this firing thing. If you put it on broil, you know what maybe happen? It's gonna probably set from start again. Wow, uh, that's the next thing. Guys, our oven has a thing where, you see when you put it on something? Oh my gosh, it's raining. Show them the back there. Our pineapple. Sure, our aki, what may I say? Our oven, <laughs> our oven has a behavior where if, if we put it on the convectional oven and select 350, it counts the preheating process. No lie, it's like 20 minutes going on 30 minutes. I don't know what that's about. How long is our life? Our life is over just one hour and two minutes, but who's counting? I'm counting. Guys, are you in a rush to leave? Are you here for the food or you don't mind hanging? Because the food is taking a little bit longer. But if you don't mind hanging, then you could stay and talk. And then we could show off our mangoes. Oh, shout out and big up to Marcia, our newly found um, viewer on Yardy Belly TV. And guess what, guys? Devana, don't feel bad and don't feel like you still don't need to give us mango because we still want your mangoes, Devana. <laughs> but our neighbor. Don't tell them, don't tell them. No, everybody got to tell them to ask us for mangoes and we don't want to give them the mango. They our mango neighbor lives three minutes away and every time she calls and says, More mangoes ready. <laughs> More mangoes ready. But this wasn't from her though. This was from another friend. We have been mango blessed this season so we far. We are also. Just say we are also. We're not also. We've been also in the mango. Guys, I got three Julie mangoes. Don't. No, guys, 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 guys. Let me tell you. No, we get three All Julie. of a sudden, she is very neighborly to the people that with mango tree in them. Yet. That's not true. That's you. Oh, I mean. That's you. Oh. Right, no but guys, no if I don't eat another mango all season, I'm good. I got three Julie mangoes. I'm not really a, a huge fan of East Indian. I will eat it, but Julie? Prayer kid. Jesus. Look for the mango, yeah, prayer kid. Guys, what's your favorite? This one mango? says, prayer kid. Them nicey. Come here. I think if you go and cut up one, we could go and eat no, it. No, I'm not cut up. Please? No, no. Why no. be mean? No, it's too crazy. While the thing cook, we it can eat cook, it with tagine. It doesn't cook, it doesn't cook. <laughs> 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 so I'm still people. <laughs> in terrible bad. 
It done cook. My ear for the food and hanging. <laughs> no, that man going to for the food and hanging. That one already. Official JMS said we're hanging out. Awesome. We like See. our peeps because JB, that is nicely stated. What did JB say? Valine Tharp, Rev only slice will do me. I am watching my weight. <laughs> oh, only me a too. slice. <laughs> Josh Pastor, Thunk me. is not commonly used, but it is a verbal variation of think. Well, I thought it was like the past tense of think. Like, who would have thought? Thunk is well, no, I, no, when nobody I, know you know the word thunk. JB said, that is nicely stated. <laughs> Why? Where I say, JB is being very um generous towards me in say, stating it that way. <laughs> That's mine? Oh, yours. You want it? Mm -hmm. mm. This is on. Wow, guys, if what? you haven't had mango with tajin on it, or tajin. T A J I N. Tajin. Tajin on it. Tajin. You have to. It's so nice. You want mango? Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Guys, oh, so the one time detox. see the guy there that me telling us to design these labels. That little child over there is him doing. What's little child? Him. He's an 18 year old adult. You're a little child too. Someone, someone asked you a question. What is the cost of the one time detox? He answered already, right? Barbara. Oh. Um, if you could please drop us a text on the, the number that was in the chat room, uh, or reach out to me on, on Instagram at Yardy Belly TV, I would definitely, um, t give you the information. I'm going to put the text, the, the number in the text. I want to you over there, sir. <laughs> Look what she make my shirt. What is it? My shirt says, um... No compromise, yes to Jesus. Okay. Like a camp. Summer camp. Now, what your shirt say? <clears throat> Rest, eat, repeat, run. Rest, run, eat, repeat. Rest, run, eat, repeat. No eat, no that one is. <coughs> oh. It's run, repeat. <laughs> run, rest, repeat. Run, rest, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Must you eat right there, so. Do you try to make me look bad now? Me not put my shirt on my shirt. You already know what it means for you. Run, eat, repeat, rest, run, eat, repeat. Enjoy. Talk to um Tanya. You know she eat and then come. Tanya, I not eat the repeat. But I know what it is. It's like when yeah, I know what it is. Hotel. Mm. Me not know when I visit drought, <laughs> they snake and lizards and run a place for no man or pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I take all this up there now, baby. Oh, Ashley says she on the treadmill while watching. You make me feel bad. Ashley, man. Ashley, come off my treadmill. Come <laughs> right off the treadmill, Ashley. <laughs> Actually, we're already snatched, you know. Actually, we're snatched like no tomorrow. All right. That's it. That's it. Can you um pretend to take it out again? Pretend to take it out again? Which direction you're going to go? Hmm? All right, let's go. How much do you Can want you for the mango? <laughs> You're doing a tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Alrighty then. Take care now. So, guys, this is our finished pizza. And we just put some nice gray rape on the top. How this look, guys? Talk up the things, them. No man, may get to go away with this. Go ahead. Talk up Great. the things. Talk up the things. 
Whoa, mama. I don't know what to do now. I don't, so nice, so. don't know what to do. You have to put it on, get the pizza roll up in your thing thing. And cut and put pizza, pizza one, pizza one. Mm -hmm. Where the pizza roll? Are in here one? Or down here, so? It's in here. I think. You could be the girl for me. Na na na. No, it's not in this when you see. Who would have thunk it's not in that drawer? Where you stop it? <laughs> Oh, she keeps saying thunk. Wait, say fifteen dollars for each pizza. Mm. What do I do? Cut it like so? Like I just mm -mm. cut it straight. Square. Okay. Square make it more um bougie. I get two squares and you two shells. The other two. Guys, would you prefer the one with the tomato sauce, or you would prefer your? If you had to choose only one slice. You couldn't try both. Would you choose the one with the ranch or you would choose the one? Let me see who is um my peeps. Tomato sauce want that one. or ranch. Which pizza with apple pizza would you choose? Ain't nobody want the one that you have. <clears throat> the more orange and red for me, the better. Oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can send a mango, mango with my order. <laughs> the art <is> done. <laughs> How much do you want for the mango, Donnelly? <laughs> I like my mangoes green with vinegar and salt and pepper. Hmm. Donnelly, you want that oh, song? Tanya. Oh, Tanya? Mm -hmm. Tanya, you're going to butt over the man. You want mango Tanya? Tell me no, cause Tanya we have go check out we have go mango bush. Oh clearly say I don't mind hanging out with you guys. Please stop tempting me with the mango. <laughs> we wouldn't. Alright, this is the last time. <laughs> last look. Um my ear for oh, food and hanging. <clears throat> You guys, the products are awesome. Thank you, Tanya. Tanya, girl, your your shipment should be on the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're just doing two? Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want the, the, something to do to look, you know, like not right. Like. So on a Tuesday, when you're having pizza for dinner, you want to have like something nice and hot. Oh, uh, well. With a little bit of, um, where where the where the wind in the day? The the wine where we buy. It's in the fridge. You can find it. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a nice wedding. She will be the wine for me. No, no, no. Come be the wine for me. Give me the wine for me. <laughs> Guys, if you have an Aldi near to you. You know we're always up giving it a 4 one man. If you have an ordinary to you, you need to seek out this wine. The Pacific Fruit Vineyards wine. We have tried the Wait, sweet pineapple and, and this is the sweet mango. So, yeah. Now try to dress this thing and all guys. So work with me. Some raspberries and what are you doing? I'm just putting stuff to make Not it look you. oh I'm just putting stuff to make it look make it look like a little bit nice-ish. Official Jamia says take a bite, take a bite. And guys, if you follow official Jamia, she does moot bang, so she's always encouraging us to take a bite. <laughs> So you go ahead and follow official Jamia. Mm. 
No, man, you're going by no, my Put two of this in there. Two blueberries in there. Because I'm not going to I'm going to put this in there. Yeah, go on, buddy. I pull things from camera. Hey, guys, so what should I go on with for me something? I said, well, put a raspberry and make it into it. In no, this is fine. So, this is our mango, sweet mango, Pacific fruit, white wine. Served up with our Aki um, pizza, Aki flatbread, flatbread pizza. pizza. Yeah, garnished with some berries and thing and thing. So the thing said, bam, boom, bam. Somebody says, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. Pretty one. Cheesh, come, cheesh, come. Pretty mood. Not ask somebody. You're not ask Christ. That man, baby, self. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just show you have to do the taste test because you have the pizza buff. The pizza buff. I want you to be my neighbor so I can have your leftovers. <laughs> Why? Well, the neighbor house next door is still available. So, so this is the taste testing batch. You have to come on, Josh. We are going to taste it now. Uh, uh, uh. We are going to taste it now. Here you go. Well, well, good not things so you're not burning yourself. Like, it's hot. We're hot. And now, guys, for the taste testing. This is the. You know, taste the babes? As you can see. First, I'm going to try the. Holy good, it's going to fall. This looks like the. Um, the apple sauce. With it, with it. With it. It's cheesy, you can see. Be careful, it's hot. This is my hair. Babes, use a napkin, baby. Oh, oh you try the um the one with the finger. Pizza sauce first. Yeah. Okay, good. I like Aki. Mm. See, you know, bonus yourself on the camera, you know? Give some pizza. And the pepperoni is very good. Wow. Wow. It's good. They eat mango. This is a mushroom? No, it's salt fish. Oh. This can go in a cookbook. You know what? Yeah. This can sell. Let me tell you something. This mango is so scrumptious, and the, the salt fish and the mango are good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. As you can mm -hmm. see, the cheese is very cheesy. <laughs> yeah. The cheese is very cheesy. I would buy this. <laughs> we're not buying it. This is like acting to a fish with cheese. How much should I buy it for? Because I'm going to charge, you know. I would buy this. I don't know what we're going to pay for it. Anything you can tell me. The two, you know, I plan to get charged. I'm telling you that right now. Mm. Awesome. So, guys, that. Oh, now I'm going to try the next one. I'm going to try Aki and hamburger beef. Try the next one, babes. The next, the next one over there. So with it, with it, with it. That's what it is. 
This is the ranch one. And I like ranch, so I'm probably gonna like it anyway. If you don't like ranch, you know, you're walking out. You're looking for a Be honest, in terms of which one tastes better, not because you like ranch, just. <laughs> just say it. How is that still not gonna be honest if I like it? Well, no, because you might just buy it and say it's the better one because you like ranch, but. But it's a better one because it's that made it. Ha <laughs> ha! Which one? Mm -hmm. I think it's equal. Because <laughs> the one I said, the pepper, the, um, the pizza sauce one. Mmm. Anyway, guys, we have to go. This is good. It's been Joshua awesome. said it's good. Yeah. Awesomeness. Yeah, one more time for your viewing pleasure. Yep. <laughs> One more time for your viewing pleasure, you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the thing around here, so, and then, yes. Get the gear real. That look good. I not tell no lie. What good, eh? Yeah. I changed my mind. The ranch is better. <laughs> Joshua said the ranch is better. Ha, 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 Whatever. <laughs> so, guys, this is how you can change things up if you want to go lighter if you want to mix mm -hmm. cultures if you want to you know to have that whole jamaican vibe right oh. and um to mix it with the A traditional fusion. Mm -hmm, fusion cooking i call it fusion foods so yeah this is our fixing for this evening a lazy rainy tuesday evening eating. Like that. lazy rainy tuesday, tuesday evening lazy, lazy rainy, rainy tuesday, tuesday evening Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening. <laughs> Where I stop? All right, and so sip. Thank you guys for joining us today. Make sure to join us again on Thursday morning when we go live for breakfast. Until then, it is Yadavella TV, aka Rev Saint Hope, signing out for another dinner live and you can catch me on thursday at 5 p.m on the caribbean 93.5 hdc radio in the new york city tri-state area <laughs> and of course you may also find me on all socials at yadi belly tv until then a peace a peace <laughs> sound good though mm -hmm. i think that's all good yes what is mm. that mango milk mango sangria mango blueberry sangria Alright guys.